Hong Kong International Airport, the main airport in Hong Kong, has been witnessing significant growth rates in passengers and cargo traffic and aircraft movements over the past decade. According to IATA's estimates, the airport will handle 102 million passengers, 8.9 million tons of cargo and 607,000 aircraft movements annually by 2030. To meet growing demand, Hong Kong International Airport Operator Airport Authority Hong Kong came up with a master plan 2030 which outlined the future development plans for the airport. Of the two options proposed in the plan, option 2 was finalized through a public consultation. It envisages the airport's expansion into a three runway system from the existing two runway system receiving government approval in March 2015. The expansion will allow the airport to handle an additional 30 million passengers a year. It is considered crucial for establishing the airport as an international and regional aviation hub and will encourage economic growth in the region by creating employment opportunities. The expanded Terminal 1 started operation in November 2019. AAHK received the renewed license from the Civil Aviation Department to operate Hong Kong International Airport in May 2022. The license also includes the third runway and associated taxiways. Cathay Pacific Airways became the first airline to operate a commercial flight using the new third runway in July 2022 as part of operation familiarization of the runway. The project is being executed in three phases. Phase 1 took two years including environmental impact assessment studies, associated design details and funding options. Phase 2 included environmental permits, financial arrangements and other statutory process requirements. Phase 3 is the implementation period which involves the detailed design of the project, land reclamation and construction of related facilities. The construction work on the 3RS project began in August 2016 while the runway pavement works for the third runway were completed in September 2021. Flight checks for the runway to check whether air navigation service equipment, flight procedures and airfield ground lighting systems are compliant with the standards of International Civil Aviation Organization started in March 2022. The 3RS project is scheduled to be completed in 2024. The expansion of the Hong Kong International Airport began with the reclamation of approximately 650 hectares of land towards the north of the airport. Various techniques were used for the reclamation including non dredge method such as deep cement mixing. A new 3800 meter long runway was constructed along with supporting taxiway systems to expand the airport into a three runway system. The north runway is being reconfigured with completion expected in 2024. It was renamed the Center Runway in December 2021 and closed for reconfiguration work in July 2022 while the new third runway has been designated as the 
North Runway. A new passenger concourse is being built covering approximately 283,000 meters square to offer high-tech facilities, environmentally friendly features and a range of shopping and dining options for passengers, also known as the third runway concourse. It will feature an apron and 57 new parking positions of which 34 are frontal and 23 are remote. A new 2600 meter long automated people mover system will also be constructed to connect Terminal 2 with the new passenger concourse. Capable of transporting nearly 10,800 passengers an hour at 80 km per hour, the new passenger concourse will transfer passengers from Terminal 2 to the new concourse in 2.5 minutes. Two stations of the new APM system are expected to be commissioned in 2024. A new baggage handling system will also be constructed between Terminal 2 and the new concourse. It will transport luggage at a speed between 25 km per hour and 36 km per hour. The first item will be transported to the luggage belt upon 20 minutes of passenger arrival and the last item within 40 minutes. The Terminal 1 expansion involved a 7-storey reinforced concrete structure with new check-in counters, baggage reclaims, car cells, departure security screening channels and departure immigration counter. The expansion of Car Park 4 involves construction of an 11-story reinforced concrete structure linking the existing car park 4 and T1 arrivals ramp. The consultancy service contract for the reclamation project was awarded to UK-based Atkins in June 2015. The contractor continued the service into the construction phase of the airport with provision for design support service. Hong Kong-based consulting group ERM were selected to provide environmental permit consultancy service for the project. The contract included the supply of professional and specialist services on environmental protection issues. Late on, Asia was awarded a $211 million contract by Airport Authority Hong Kong for the Terminal 1 and Car Park 4 expansion project at the airport in April 2017. The total estimated construction cost of the 3RS project is $141.5 billion Hong Kong dollar. Funding for the project is based on the joint contribution and user pay principle with funds arranged from multiple channels. Hong Kong International Airport aims to become one of the world's greenest airports with its environmental plan containing more than 120 green initiatives. The plan is expected to enable the airport to develop a robust culture of sustainability throughout the airport. Some of the green initiatives planned include carbon and energy reduction, air quality monitoring, green building design and water conservation, as well as waste management with a place to recycle 50% of all waste. Thanks for watching this video till the end. And do subscribe to the channel to get the latest update on construction videos around the world.